Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. This post was shared on Reddit eight years ago. Hands down, best first sentence of a math problem ever. Some dude wants two rectangular enclosures against his house for some reason. He has 300 feet of fencing. Find the following. A, area equation in terms of X. B, maximum area. C, dimensions for maximum area. Include units in your answer. A lot of people got a laugh out of this question eight years ago because it illustrates how textbook problems are often contrived to have some sort of real world applicability. But hold on, fast forward to today and many Americans are interested in building backyard chicken coops and gardens to save money on food. So math is like a first aid kit. You never know when it's going to come in handy in the future. And the few students who paid attention to this question would have an advantage in saving money because they could buy the minimum amount of fencing to enclose the maximum area. So now let me solve this question in three different ways. We have one side of this fence is equal to X. And since we have a rectangular enclosure, the parallel sides will also have the same dimension. So this vertical length will also be equal to X and the other vertical length will also be equal to X. We also need to solve for the remaining dimension of the rectangular enclosures. We have one more side length we need to solve for and we know the person has 300 feet of fencing. We have already used 3x of fencing on the vertical sides, so the remaining amount of fencing will be 300 minus 3x. So with this diagram labeled, let's solve for each part of the question. Part A, find an area equation in terms of x. The area of this enclosure will be equal to the product of its dimensions. So a of x will be equal to x times 300 minus 3x. This is equal to 300x minus 3x squared. Part b, we need to find the maximum area. The graph of this function will be a parabola and it will look something like this. One way to approach this question is to solve for the x-intercepts. This will be where the area is equal to zero. We can readily solve this equation because we know zero will be equal to x times 300 minus 3x. We can set each of these terms equal to zero. So one case is x is equal to zero, and the other case is 300 minus 3x is equal to zero, which will give x is equal to 100. By symmetry of the parabola, the vertex will be at the midpoint of the x-intercepts, and that will be the point x is equal to 50. The maximum area can be found by substituting x is equal to 50 into the area equation. And this gives the result that the area is 7,500 square feet. We have solved that x is equal to 50. So we know that one dimension is 50 feet. The other side is 300 minus 3x. And that works out to be 150 feet. And that's one way to solve the problem. Another approach is to consider the problem algebraically. Let's first factor a negative three. We will now complete the square of the bracketed term. We have x squared minus 100x. So we will take half of this middle term and we will square it. So we will add 50 squared and subtract 50 squared. x squared minus 100x plus 50 squared can be factored into the square of x minus 50. We will now distribute. We have minus three times a square term, and we have minus three times a minus 50 squared. That will become a positive three times a positive 50 squared. Then we subtract out three times the square of x minus 50. How can we maximize this value? We know the square of any real number will be a non-negative term. So we are subtracting a non-negative term. So whatever we're removing, this is going to be a negative quantity here. We can get the maximum area by subtracting out zero. 
So the way we can eliminate this term altogether is by setting x is equal to 50, and this term will vanish. That will give us the maximum area is 3 times 50 squared, which equals 7,500 square feet. We know that x is equal to 50 is one dimension, the other dimension is 300 minus 3x, and that will be equal to 150 feet. And that's another way to solve the problem. I will now illustrate a final approach, which is the most straightforward approach, using calculus. Take the derivative of the area function, so a prime of x is equal to 300 minus 6x. Let's set this equal to 0. So we have the equation 6x is equal to 300, so x is equal to 50 feet. Take the second derivative, which will be equal to minus 6, and this is less than 0, so we know we have a maximum. So we know the maximum area happens when x is equal to 50. Substituting into the area function, we get that the area is a maximum value at 7,500 square feet. One dimension is x is equal to 50 feet, and the other dimension is 300 minus 3x, so the other dimension is 150 feet. As you can see, the calculus method is the most direct and fastest way to solve the problem, but it is only by going through the laborious steps of the graphical and the algebraic solution that you have an appreciation for the value of calculus. In any case, it's also good to know many different ways to solve a problem. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.